Welcome all the viewers to the channel Santelectual. In this current video, we are discussing section 91, 92, 92A, 93 and 94 under Indian Patents Act 1970. These sections come under chapter 16, working of patents, compulsory licenses and revocation. Along with the sections, we will be discussing about the relevant rules, forms and fees as well. Section 91 Licensing of Related Patents Subsection 1 At any time after sealing of a patent, this patent will be termed as first mentioned patent or first patent. Any person who has the right to work any other patented invention. This other is second patent. Either as patentee or licensee, exclusive or non-exclusive, may apply to the controller for grant of a license of the first mentioned patent on the ground that he is prevented or hindered without such license from working the other invention efficiently or to the best advantage possible. It says that, say one person has a license on any patented invention. Now, during working of that patented invention, he is facing some difficulties unless and until he has license of any other patent. He needs both the patents license so that he can work efficiently and to the best advantage possible. In that case, he can apply to the controller to grant of a license of, the, of that patent for which he is having difficulty for not having the license of that patent. Number 2, that is subsection 2. If that application is made to the controller, then controller will make an order. But the order will be made if he is satisfied that number one, the applicant is able and willing to grant or procure the grant to the patentee or his licensee if they desire of a license in respect of other invention on reasonable terms. And number two, the other invention has made a substantial contribution to the establishment or development of commercial or industrial activity in India. So it says that, say, person A has one license, person B has another license. Now person A is having or is working on his license but facing difficulty as he doesn't have license of person B's patented invention. He wants both the licenses to work efficiently. He is applying for getting license of person B. The controller will order the grant of that license only if person A who is willing to have the license from person B. If person B is willing to have, then person A should have or should give the license of his license to person B. That is reciprocity should be maintained. If person A wants the license from person B, then if in any case person B wants license from person A, then person A should give that license to person B. Section 91, subsection 3. When the controller is satisfied that the conditions as mentioned under subsection 1 has been established by the applicant, then he may make an order but the term will be decided by him for granting the license under first mentioned patent. And similar order 
under the other patent if the proprietor of the first mentioned patent or licensee wants. Provided license granted by the controller shall be non assignable, except any other assignment is there. Subsection 4 The provisions of section 87, 88, 89, and 90 that is applicable for license granted under section 84 is similarly applicable as under section 91. Section 92 Special provision for compulsory licenses on notification by central government. Subsection 1 If the central government is satisfied in respect of any patent in force, in circumstances of national emergency or extreme urgency or in case of public non commercial use, that this is necessary that the compulsory license should be granted any time after grant of the patent. Then the central government will make a declaration and by notification in the official gazette will have the effect. That is to say, number one, the controller shall on application made at any time after the notification by any person interested grant that applicant a license under the patent on the terms and conditions decided by him and number two in setting the terms and conditions the controller shall secure that the article manufactured under the patent shall be available to the public at lowest price consistent with the patentees deriving reasonable advantage from the patent rights that is two factors will be in mind number one terms and conditions will be decided by the controller and number two both the both parties will have the advantage that is public will have the patented article in affordable price or lowest price as well as patentee will have reasonable advantage from their patent rights section 92 subsection 2 the provisions of sections 83 87 88 89 and 90 will apply in case of section 92 as well subsection 3 notwithstanding anything contained in subsection 2 where the controller is satisfied on consideration of the application as mentioned in subsection 1 clause 1 that it is necessary in case of circumstances of national emergency or extreme urgency or of public non-commercial use which may arise or is required including public health crisis related to AITS or HIV tuberculosis malaria or any other epidemics he shall not apply any procedure specified in section 87 in relation to that application for grant of license provided the controller shall as soon as practicable he will inform the patentee of the patent relating to the application for such non application of section 87 that is in some circumstances the controller will not follow the procedure as specified in section 87 but he will inform the patentee for such non application of section 87 now we recommend to follow our previous slides related to section 87 what is there to see please follow our prior slides section 92a compulsory license for export of patented pharmaceutical products in certain exceptional circumstances subsection 1 compulsory license shall be available 
for manufacture and export of patented pharma products to any country having insufficient or no manufacturing capacity in the pharma sector for the concerned product to address public health problems provided compulsory license has been granted by such country or such country has by notification or otherwise allowed importation of patented pharma products from india that is in case of certain circumstances compulsory license is available for manufacturing and exporting the patented pharmaceutical product to any other country that country has insufficient or no manufacturing capacity related to that product or pharma product and it needs to address public health problem now provided that country has given compulsory license by notification or has allowed importation of patented pharma product from india subsection 2 the controller shall on receipt of an application in prescribed manner grant compulsory license solely for manufacture and export of the concerned pharma product to such country and terms and conditions will be specified as there may be or it may be published by him section 92a subsection 3 the provision as discussed under subsection 1 and 2 shall be without prejudice to the extent to which pharma products produced under compulsory license can be exported under any other provision of this act and what is pharmaceutical products there is an explanation that says pharmaceutical products means any patented product or product manufactured through patented process of pharmaceutical sector needed to address public health problems and shall be inclusive of ingredients necessary for their manufacture and diagnostic kits required for their use section 93 order for license to operate as a deed between parties concerned any order for the grant of license shall operate as if it were a deed granting the license executed by the patentee and all other necessary parties and the terms and conditions settled by the controller section 94 termination of compulsory license now compulsory license granted under section 84 can be terminated by the controller if and when the circumstances that gave rise to the grant no longer exists and such circumstances are unlikely to recur that is if there is no longer any need of compulsory license then the controller can terminate the terms of or terminate itself the compulsory license but in that case the holder of the compulsory license have all the rights to object to such termination subsection 2 while considering an application under subsection 1 the controller shall take into account that the interest of the person who had previously been granted the license is not unduly prejudiced that is whoever has been given the license compulsory license he should not be prejudiced that will be taken into account the rule related to the application for a compulsory license is rule 96 it says that an application to the controller under section 84 85 91 92 or 92a shall be made in form 17 or form 
as the case may be. Another rule which says about termination of compulsory license under section 94 is rule 102. It says that an application for termination of compulsory license under section 94.1 shall be made in form 21 by the patentee or any other person deriving title or interest in the patent. And there shall be evidence in support of the application. Here's the fee structure related to form 17, 19 and 21. Thank you all the viewers for watching the video. Please give like, share and subscribe the channel Scientelectual. We are providing all the necessary informations regarding Indian Patents Act 1970. Keeping in mind Indian Patent Agent Exam. Thank you.